treat children prevention through sustainable gradation from extreme poverty. Uganda is host to the large number of refugees in Africa with over 1.5 million people having felt ongoing conflicts in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi, South Sudan, and Somalia. This has had devastating impact on children, with an estimated 30% of children not returning to education after the COVID-19 lockdown. This proportionately affected girls and refugee learners, several of whom had been ignored by state-led learning intervention. Lack of access to technology has further excluded the majority of children across the local communities from remote learning opportunities. I've had phoned us when we were suffering. I've had held our hands and pulled us up. Uh, trained us on farming, on planting trees, also gave us money. Various issues that, may, that used to make us suffer have now become better. Some of them have been solved. When Afad came, Afad helped us. Uh, the things we never used to know now, we, know, we have helped and kept them in our minds. Uh, Afad widened our hands, which is a very good thing for us. This is a few of the things that we have found uh, helpful and beneficial. One in every five children still out of primary school and only 28% of these able to attend secondary school. The high number of children without access to education has prompted to a rise in gender-based violence, yes. early child marriage, child labor and exploitation, partly due to the absence of the safeguarding role played by school. To address this challenge, AFAD, in partnership with Boma IUCN and Qatar, Switzerland, implemented a three-year street children prevention through sustainable gradation from extreme poverty project, PSGP, in Kalulu, sub-county Yumbe district, Uganda, with an outreach of 450 households, refugee 135, and host communities 315, selected from 15 villages of Gombe, Yoyo, Ewafa, and Lomunga parishes. She's called Kondra Rusa Lela. She's from Kululu village. Uh, since I've had started, there have been um, quite a number of changes. We are able to pair our, with our children to school. Even at our homes, there are changes. Our homes are better. The hunger is, has reduced. It's not. Before I've had came, I was suffering. My children are not going to school. Now there are a lot of changes compared to my children are not going to school. The overall objective of PSGP is that extremely poor refugees and host community households in West Nile, Uganda has built resilience and reduced the risks of children living and working in the street. The people are leaving this camp because of hunger. The food is now has been cut it level they, they, they have three level level one is going to each person is going to have seven kilo of maize for man households among refugees and host community are also graduating from extreme poverty with improved resilience with natural habitats in the community now starting to sustainably regenerate as basis for sustainable livelihood the prevention through sustainable gradation from poverty stands out to the champions prize intervention <laughs>